Right, hello. Welcome back to our channel. Um, I thought I'd do a little video on spark plug testers and spark testers, I should say. Uh, mainly to test the coil than the plug itself. Um, but uh, what happened is this morning I went on YouTube, I got the day off, and I thought I'd go and have a look on YouTube. And I was watching a few channels I subscribed to, and I started watching the way they were testing for spark. And um, oh, I had to do my head in, it was, it was really doing my head in. So <laughs> um, I thought I'd do a quick video on it. I'm not going to be able to show you the testers actually on the engine because there's no way for me to actually film them um, and pull the engine over and everything else and keep the camera in the right place. That's something I'll have to look into doing a bit later on. Um, but I'm going to explain to you on this video why half these testers don't actually work and are absolutely a waste of money and and the obvious one of putting that spark plug straight on top of your engine to get a spark or earthing it on the exhaust or whatever you want to do um, yeah and uh, that one's a waste of time so that's what I'm going to do in this video right the first thing we're going to talk about move that because the light's shining off it um, the first thing we're going to talk about is putting the plug on top of the engine or against the exhaust or whatever to get the plug to spark and have, obviously you have the HT loop plugged in. Now the thing that annoys me on videos is when I watch that is I say oh yeah look we've got a really good spark, look you can see how good the spark is. And I've even seen people open these up on, on videos to, to just to prove a point. It doesn't prove um, bugger all really though because out in the atmosphere out here like this um, it takes 1000 volts for every millimetre so if it had a 2 mil gap it would take approximately 2000 volts to jump the gap and that's fine but inside the engine it takes like an average of 8000 volts to jump 1 millimetre so you can understand why putting on the engine so that's good spark it's a complete waste of time. It doesn't prove nothing. It doesn't prove the, the strength of the coil at all. It might prove that the plug will spark as such, but then again, that could be um, you get a dodgy plug. Why not work at higher speed with more, you know, with the pressure and stuff? So that's a complete waste of time. It doesn't really prove nothing. I suppose, like on a, it might prove the switch is working, your stop switch is working or not working, but that's about it. The next thing what most of us have got in our toolbox is, is the little lamp. What you plug that on the plug and that end back in the uh, lead, the HT lead. Well, again, it's as small as the same as having the plug out because all it does is it lights up. Uh, it doesn't change colour, it doesn't do nothing like that. Um, so it doesn't really prove anything. The only thing like I say it would prove is if you've got an on off switch, if that worked or wasn't working I suppose that's what it would prove it doesn't really I mean I've had this one for years and I do still use it now and again um, for like things like switches and stuff you know but yeah it is uh, a bit of a waste of time to be honest with you right right then we'll start going a bit more up market I suppose uh, <laughs> if you want to call it that um, these are all to tell you, supposed to tell you different levels of um, power and quality of spark and quality of um, your, your coils and magnetos and stuff like that. So we start off with this one. Well, I bought this with the hope of it being really, really good. It looked good anyway. Um, again, that goes in the plug in the um, HT lead. That in clips onto. Uh, Swap plug and it's supposed to come up with different colours. Well, this one I can't remember what I paid for it now, I don't know, I can't remember what I paid for it, but it's supposed to light up different colours. And this was worked fine the first time I tried it, and then the engine started up and it didn't like it. So after that, the colours come up wrong, and that's just a waste of money and a waste of time, okay? Right. Then another one which is quite reasonably priced, oh you can get these around about a tenner, 
sometimes a treat. I've seen, I've, I bought this one for about six quid actually. It's a Bridge and Stratton one. Um, it plugs in, so your, your lead plugs onto there. That plugs onto the spark plug. You can always alter these ends and put proper, you know, cap on it. And these are what they call three point, um, three point testers. And what happens is you get the line going across here, and the different colours mean the different things, you know. So, but I'll talk about the colours when I talk about the the other the other tester because that's a that's my big tester. What I use, well, the tester I use all the time now. But that's not bad. Like I say, <laughs> anything up to about ten quid for them. They might even be dearer now because it's been a little while since I had this one. Uh, I still I do use this one still. But the only thing is, you can't adjust the gap. It's um, a six mil. It's a six mil gap on there. Um, and I'll explain on this one um, why you need, you know, why it comes in handy to be able to, be able to adjust it. Now, this one was a, was a bit expensive. Um, I paid, if I remember rightly, sixty five pound for this um, a few years back. So it doesn't owe me a lot to be honest because the amount of work it, it has saved me um, basically what you can do is you can adjust this right down to, to no gap to one wheel I don't know if you can see it very well because it's quite scratched but there's three pins in there and then you can adjust it out what you, what you do is you adjust it out first when you're pulling it just cranking it over and you adjust it over to four mil and you test it and then you once it's running you can go out to six but I've had somewhere I've sort of just to, to test them I'll go right out as far as I can go I think it's seven or maybe I think it goes up to about ten mil yeah it goes up to about ten mil I don't know if it doesn't focus very well does it but it goes up to about ten mil but you'll see a little out line there and that is six mil and that's a standard test six mil there we go there we go that's six mil and it's starting to rain now, so you might be able to hear that on the roof as well. Right. Now, like I've already said to you about the voltage on, you know, the spark. On this, because it's a tester, you can bring the voltage down a bit because to jump that gap. I don't know if we can see it, but to jump that gap. So, what you need to do, so you had it on a chainsaw. To crank it over, you bring it down to 4mm. Now they reckon the engine should turn over about 1200 revs per minute on a pull start to get this voltage. Um, but that's an average and it depends on the machine, the coil and everything else. Um, but you'll get, um, what did you do, was it Sana? Yeah, to cover that 4mm in the tester, not, not on the plug, because this is not under so much atmosphere, this will take 12,000 volts. Yeah, you got that? 12,000 volts. And then when you got it running or whatever you test it, want to test it, I mean, I must admit, I must admit, mainly test them on a 6mm and keep it on a 6mm to start with. On a 6mm, it will take, just to test, the tester will take 14,000 volts to get the right colours. And it all works by colours. Um, what you're looking for on the tester is a blue, violet, or white um, line that's good and it's the same I believe it's the same colors on this on this bridge one um, but if you get an orange red yellow that means there's a weak spark and that means you've got a weak coil but obviously always check your your earths and your connections on the coil and then try it again fill with the coil a little bit clean it up um, all that sort of stuff and Hopefully that you might be able to get back to. It could just be a bad earth or you know a bit of crud in there. You know, I mean, these engines go for hell and back, don't they? So I just thought I'd do a little video on it. So I hope that helps you out. Um, these are handy if somebody wants to buy you something for Christmas or something like that, um, and they will come in handy for like I say if you want to have a switch is working. That one I wouldn't bother with it. This one, what was a bridge one? Uh, there's those other makes, but this is a bridge and Stratton one. Um, that's okay. That would do most people. 
And if you're making a lot of money out of them, or you're doing it for a living, then I would go for this one. Like I say, you must be able to get them cheaper than that now, because at the time I could only get them from the, from America, and um, off the post of 65 quid, including a lot of postage, wasn't it? But um, you hope that helps. Like I say, with these, you're looking for a blue, violet, or white spark, and with the, and, well, the same, well, this you definitely are, and an orange, red, or yellow means a weak spark, and a weak spark will give you no other problem. You will get the same problems as with the coil going down as you would a carb. So it could run funny, it could not start, it could be bad start, it might not rev. Could be loads and loads of little things. And another thing I do with these testers, uh, if you do the steel chainsaws and head cutters, or especially the chainsaws, they have like um, rev limiters in them, what break down. And you can put these on and rev the nuts out of the, you know, rev them up to the full revs, and you'll see the mist because you'll see the the spark disappearing. Um, but you can have a real powerful coil, but when it gets to the limiter, it Sort of tries to shut the engine out, but what not, not like an ABS or not that way, shutting it, you can actually see it breaking down, so you can see it getting worse, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, we'll have to go into that on a, <laughs> another day because that might be a bit too much or something. But I so say it's not like you're going, I know people are going to say, well, it will cut out because it's a limiter, but what I'm saying is you'll see the spark disappear. And if you've got a weak, bad coil breaking down, you'll see the coil breaking down because it will get worse you might find they start off nice blue or violet and then they change and they go orange and red and yellow and you, as, a, as a coil gets hot because um, you should talk, you should really test coils when they're cool and hot it's no good testing it once and walking away from it because it doesn't it doesn't prove anything um, I hope that helps you I know it's a bit of I'm trying to do it quick and but like I say don't bother wasting your time. I mean, yeah, you've got a spark when you put the plug on the engine, but it doesn't mean nothing. No, hopefully you understand that. I'd like to not rush through it, but I just need to get it done. Um, so, yeah, have fun, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.